never seen anything like this before, ever on television, I guarantee it. And the reason why is because no one's been crazy enough to try it until now, to win here tonight. Yes, we're crazy! <laughs> to win here tonight, our contestants not only need to be smart, but more importantly, they have to stay calm under pressure. Now, at first look, this show seems straightforward. Answer a few simple questions, and you could win these incredible prizes right there. And more importantly, you can win up to $1 million in cash. $1 million! Yes! But trust me, it ain't gonna be that easy. To begin with, we are here in downtown Los Angeles on the roof of a 100-foot skyscraper. Look at this view. It's amazing. And our contestant will be answering questions this far from the edge. Now, how it works is we put replicas of our fabulous prizes on this conveyor belt. When the round starts, so does the belt. All our contestant has to do is answer the questions before the prizes do this. Not only that, but the money the contestant is playing for, whether it be $5,000, $50,000, $1,000,000, <laughs> however much is placed at the back of the conveyor belt, if it goes over, then this happens. <laughs> so there's quite a lot at stake. So let's meet our first contestant ready to face their downfall. I can fun. tell you're so excited. It's just beaming, just beaming right now. Yes. Where are you from? I am actually from Ferndale, Washington, which is a very small town. Yeah. Oh, wow. Woo! Apparently half the town is here to cheer you That's on. That's right. What did you do in Ferndale, Washington? Well, actually, I left Ferndale right away as soon as I could, got the heck out of there yeah. and joined the Navy. I was in the Navy for six years. That's right. Yeah, go Navy. And Man, you're swashbuckling. Yes, and I'm currently married to a Navy pilot, so. Well, I kept the Navy thing going on. That's there. right. Navy well, let me just do this. Let's figure out how to play some downfall. You want right, to come? Yeah, let's go over and get hooked up. Come on, let's go. Yeah. We can't get close. Let's go, 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 go. We can't get close to the edge without being tethered up. It's very dangerous. That's why we have our experts here, Jamie and Allie, to hook us in. Are we hooked up? We're all good. All right, Nicole, let's play downfall. Woo! Did you expect that this was going to be like this when you came here today? No, it's awesome. Let's talk about some downfall. There's seven rounds to get $1 million Woo! in cash. In round one, you're playing for $5,000 and these incredible prizes. First is dance lessons for two. Oh, God, I love to dance. Oh, you love to dance? Yes, really? I do. I love dance. What's your favorite dance? Country Western. Really? Yes, I'll tell you what, if you win the dance lessons, count me in. I'll go okay, with I'm you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, and then we got an oven over there wide open and a computerized telescope. Woo! My right at the end, so you can look at the that. stars and be perfect tonight. And at the very end of the line, most important of all, $5,000 in cash! Woo! Now, obviously, we're not going to destroy the real prizes. These replicas will still crash like you wouldn't believe. If they all go over the edge, so do your chances of taking home these prizes. During this round, you can guess as much as you like. You can pass if you need to. Remember, if you pass, the belt will go faster. Right. If things get too crazy, you have this panic button right here. We'll set the belt again, we'll have a redo, but it's gonna cost you. Right. Okay, so this is only for emergencies, nice Nicole. Emergencies. Here are the categories for your game. Each category has 10 questions. The first round, you have to answer four of them correctly, and they are music in the air, hard to say goodbye, famous firsts, children's books, parks and monuments, vegetable variety, super spin-offs, the Toy Hall of Fame, best picture winners. You can play these categories in any order you want to. So, Nicole, which one do you want to try first? Uh, parks and Monuments. Parks and Monuments, parks she and said. Monuments. Okay. Do you know lots about parks? I think so, yeah. I've been to quite a few. There's a lot of parks in Washington. There is a lot of parks in Washington. Okay. I'll give you a fact about a national park or memorial in the U.S. You tell me its name. If you can name four of the parks, you will win $5,000. Yes. Yes, and you will avoid your downfall, most importantly. So what do you think? Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Yeah, you sure? Yes. 
Come on, let's hear it for Nicole. Let's help her out. All right, Nicole, park some monuments. Start the belt. Home to Old Faithful. Yellowstone. Correct. It's a gorge is only one mile deep and nearly 18 miles wide. Uh, pass. It's the hottest and driest of all the parks. The Mojave Desert. Um, Death Valley. Correct. 2009's most visited national park. Uh, pass. Largest national park in Florida. The Everglades. Correct, home to Mount McKinley in Alaska. Uh, Juno, um, pass. National Park where Kesha filmed a music video. Um, pass. It has the world's longest cave. Pass. National Memorial designed by Gutzon Borglum. Um, Arizona Memorial, uh, pass. Home to Half Dome. Uh, Utah. Uh, oh. She hit the panic button. OK. All right. Very nerve wracking, isn't it? It is. It's hard to be up here. It is hard to be up here. It's hard to be up here. But you know what the good news is? You were smart enough to remember to hit the panic button, so you still have a chance at the $5,000, OK? OK. Take your breath. Relax. It's OK. <laughs> so. We're going to go over the answers that you missed. OK. Yeah. I didn't know a lot of these, and I'm a genius. <laughs> it's Gorge is one mile deep and nearly 18 miles wide. It's the Grand oh, Canyon. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> 2009's most visited national park, Smoky Mountains. Oh. Home to Mount McKinley, Denali. National Park with Kesha filmed a music video, The Joshua Tree. It has the world's longest cave, Mammoth Cave. National Memorial designed by Gutzon Boglum. Isn't it really? Wow, she got it. How did you know that? Mount Rushmore is correct. Home to the Half Dome, Yosemite Sam, Yosemite Park. But it's okay. We're going to take parks and monuments. We're going to crunch it up. We're going to throw it over the edge. We never want to see that again. We're going to reset the belt. Nicole is going to decide what she wants to put on the belt because she hit the panic button. We're going to find that out right after this on more Downfall. Stay right there. Welcome back to Downfall. Before the break, Nicole was going for $5,000. She hit the panic button. That gets you a redo, which is good, but you have to put one extra item on the belt, either your support or someone you brought with you to help you out, or a personal item that you brought with you from home. So which one is it going to be? My dining set. It's the first thing my husband and I bought together. So, so it means a lot to you. It does. But we're not going to have to watch that go over the edge, because if you stop the belt before it goes over, the table goes home with you. So okay. in order to do that, you have to pick your next category. Music in the air, hard to say goodbye, famous firsts, children's books, vegetable varieties, super spinoffs, toy hall of fame, best picture winners. What do you think? Okay. You a big movie fan? Yes. Good. Because yes. all you have to do is answer four questions correctly right. and you get the five grand, okay? I'm going to describe a Best Picture Oscar winner that has a one word title. One word title. I'll give you the year it won the Oscar and an actor that started the movie. Okay. If you can name four of the ten questions correctly, you will win $5,000. You'll avoid your downfall. You'll keep your dining room table. Yes. Okay? You got it? I got it. Start the belt. 1995, Mel Gibson. Patriot. Um, uh, we were soldiers. Uh, pass. Okay. 1976, Sylvester Rocky. Stallone. Correct. 1943, Humphrey Bogart. Casablanca. Correct. 1997, Titanic. Leonardo. Correct. 1992, Clint Eastwood. Um, pass. 1986, Charlie Sheen. Platoon. Correct. Stop the belt. Yes. <laughs> my back. I did not want to see that table go over the edge. I did not want to see that money go over the edge, but you get the table and you get $5,000. Now you're on a roll. There we go. Double high five. Okay. You feel better now. I do. You're in control there. Let's take a look at the ones you missed. There wasn't many. 1995 Mel Gibson, you're going to kick yourself. Freedom! Oh, God, Braveheart. You got it, Braveheart. 1992 Clint Eastwood, The Unforgiven. The Unforgiven. 
Let's get some new prizes here for Nicole. She's on a roll. She just won $5,000. She's got momentum. But now you have to make yet another decision. You can walk away with all this, or you can stay here and play and get a chance to win I'm going to stay. Oh, if I you was... stay, you can win these prizes. A popcorn cart, Woo! a crystal and china set, and a poker table. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what you can bet with on the poker table? Money. Yeah, money, like ten thousand dollars in money. Yeah, if you win the next round, that's what you can do. To stop the belt and save those prizes in the second round, you need to correctly answer five out of the ten questions. So, let's decide a category. Nicole, what do we got up there? Toy Hall of Fame. Ooh, good Toy Hall of Fame. Yeah. Do you? I do. How I old? have a seven-year-old Makai uh -huh. and a 13-month-old Xander. Aww. So I have two so kids. Cute. So cute. Well, you're going to know about toys. And also, <laughs> kids love popcorn. They love. My son loves popcorn. So you have to win oh, this yeah. popcorn. Oh, yeah. If I don't win this, he'll never forgive me. OK. Toy Hall of Fame. In 1998, the National Toy Hall of Fame inducted its inaugural class. Since then, a total of 44 toys have been included. I'll describe a toy in the Toy Hall of Fame. You tell me the toy. If you can name five of the 10 toys, you'll win $10,000, which is good. Yes. A lovely popcorn machine for your children. And don't forget, you have one panic left if you need it. I don't think you're going to need it, though. No. Are you ready? Yes. Let's hear it for Nicole. Come on. Yay. Come on, guys. Go. All right, Nicole. OK. Start the belt. Its properties were inspired by Atlantic City streets. Uh, Monopoly. Correct. Name for President Roosevelt. Teddy. Correct. Originally featured the Molasses Swamp. Uh, the Candyland. Correct. Legend has it Ben Franklin electrified one. A kite. Correct. Formerly known as a Pluto platter. Pass. A Hawaiian dance inspired its name. Uh, 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 pass. Allows you to cook a cake or uh, cook your uh, light bulbs. Um, Easy Bake Oven. Correct. Stop the bell. Yes! Yeah. All right! You did it again! Man, you're heavy. That's awesome. Let's hear it for Nicole. She right, nailed it. Go. You nailed it. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, look at how happy she is. You won $10,000. Oh, that's awesome. You got the crystal and china set. You got the poker table. We lost the popcorn, but that's OK. You can buy a lot of popcorn with $10,000, right? <laughs> I can buy a ton of popcorn with Absolutely. Them. Let's see the ones you missed. Formerly known as a Pluto platter. A Frisbee. A Hawaiian dance inspired its name. A hula, a hula hoop. A hula hoop. Oh, oh gosh. We knew that you one. Know, I worked at Hooters. I should know that one. You never told us you worked at Hooters. This was a long time ago. Did you use a hula hoop at Hooters? Almost every day. What? Oh, is that part of your routine? Yeah. Wow. Now I really want you to stay up here, Nicole. Wow, that was impressive. You got $10,000 and all of these wonderful prizes. You can walk away with the 10 grand, the poker table, and the crystal set. Or you can stay here with us and win $25,000 in cash. Now, let me help you out a bit. If you get that 25 grand, you get to keep it. OK. No matter what happens, it stays with you. Right. But the game gets tougher. Right. You'll have to answer six out of the 10 questions correctly. The belt is going to speed up. And remember, if you lose, you lose everything. Right. It's all gone. Well. So think about it. $10,000 is a lot of money. It is. It is a lot of money. $25,000 is more. I'm going to go for one. All more. right, one more. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. So Nicole's going to stay and play for the chance to win $25,000. Right after this, on more Downfall. Stay right there. All right, Nicole, for round three, you're playing for $25,000 in cash. Yeah, that's good. Let's hear it for twenty five dollars also on the belt, we have the pizza oven, and we have a home theater system, and a zero gravity simulation in that final little rocket ship. I don't know if you can fit in there, but we'll try. <laughs> and of course, at the very end of the line, $25,000 yes. in cash. To stop the belt and save those prizes, you're going to have to answer six out of the 10 questions correctly. 
The belt is going to move faster. So if you're ready to go, let's I'm pick ready. another category. Okay. Music in the air, hard to say goodbye, famous first, children's books, vegetable varieties, super spin-offs. I'm gonna go children's books. Children's books, that was quick. I'm gonna stick with the kids. That's perfect, yeah. you have two, two kids. Okay. I'll give you an author and a character from a classic children's book. You tell us the book title of the character's first appearance. You name six of the children's books, you win $25,000, which you get to keep no matter what and avoid your downfall. Understand? Yes. Okay. Start the belt. E.B. White, Wilbur. Uh, Charles Webb. Correct. Dr. Zeus, Sam I Am. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Correct. Scott O'Dell, Karana. Uh, uh, pass. Madeline Langell, Meg Murray. Pass. Morris Sendak, Max. Uh, pass. Rudyard Kipling, Baloo the Bear. Um, uh, Jungle Book. Correct. Royal Dahl, Veruca Salt. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Um, pass. Robert O'Brien, Mrs. Frisbee. Pass. Beverly Cleary, Ralph the Mouse. Uh, pass. C.S. Lewis, Aslan. Um, uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Correct. Scott O'Dell, Karana. Pass. Madden Langell, Meg Murray. Uh, Madeline. Pass. Okay. Good. You had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some pretty hard children's Those books. Those were there. hard children's books. I, know, I thought it would be like brown right. bear, brown bear, or something like that. <laughs> brown bear, brown bear. What do you Not mean? Not necessarily. Let's see the ones that you missed. Okay. Scott O'Dell, Karana, Island of the Blue Dolphins. Madden Langell, Meg Murray, A Wrinkle in Time. Maurice Sendak, Max, Where the Wild Things Are. Roll Dahl, Veruca Salt. I said... You said Willy Wonka oh, in the Oh, no. Factory. Yeah, it was Charlie. Right. Robert O'Brien, Mrs. Frisbee. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Beverly Cleary, Ralph the Mouse, the Mouse and the Motorcycle. But that's the second time you've hit the panic button, Nicole. It's okay, but it means that you have to put your supporter on the belt. That's right. Who did you bring with you tonight? I brought my husband's boss. You brought your husband's boss? That's right. Okay. My husband is in Japan. He cannot be here with me this evening, so I brought the man that sent him there. Ah, a little bit of revenge. Your supporter is going on to the belt. Here he comes. Nicole, Alistair can help you for as long as he can, but this is very important. You have to say the answers. Right. He can shout them out. You have to say them. Alistair, you can help her as long as possible, even if you're dangling at the edge of that 100-foot precipice over there. Once you drop, Nicole is on her own. Why is your husband's boss on this belt and not your husband? Because he sent my husband to Japan. He said I did. Yeah. I did. So. Lieutenant Commander Ryan Breed is her husband. He's one of America's finest, Woo, one of our pilots. Right, uh -huh. It was his turn up in the rotation. He had to go. But then I found out that she had been left hanging, and uh, she asked me to fill in, and it's the least I could do. Perfect. Good switch. All right, so it's time for Nicole and Alistair McAllister. You sound like a villain in a James Bond movie. That's terrible. Time to pick the category to decide if Nicole can win $25,000. Talk it over. Let's see what you guys come All up right. with. Okay, so I'm drawing a major blank on spinoffs. It's, uh, well, spinoffs would work. Uh, vegetable varieties, I mean, how tough can that be? Okay, well, let's Famous see. first. Famous first. Hard to say goodbye. Hard Music to say goodbye. Air. Vegetable let's variety. Do let's do the spinoffs. Spinoffs? Yeah. Okay, spinoffs it is. So super spinoffs it is. I'll name a TV series that was a spinoff of another series. You name the parent show that it came from. Okay. If you name six of the parent shows, you're gonna win $25,000, Nicole. All if right. you don't, you lose $10,000, and the china set, and the poker table, and you're gonna go over the edge, too. Okay. But that's not gonna happen, no. is That's a long way down. No. Okay, you ready, Alistair? I think so. Okay, Nicole? Yes. Okay, start the belt. Joey. Friends. Friends, friends. Good, Laverne and Shirley. Uh, happy Days. Happy Days. Correct. A Different World. Uh, uh, Cosby Show. Correct. The Pebbles and Bam Bam Show. Flintstones. Flintstones. Correct. Melrose Place. Um, 90210. Correct. Frasier. Cheers. Correct. Let's you stopped the value. Oh, yeah! Oh, you, baby! <laughs> that was for you! You did it! All right, it's all you! Oh, my God! Let's go! You got it, too! You got it! Go, that was awesome! What a team! This is the winning team right there. Yeah, nice job.
Oh, this is living on the edge, isn't it? What's next? We'll find out right after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Downfall. Before the break, Alistair just helped you win $25,000. I forgive him for sending my husband away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your husband's going to be loving you when you call him in Japan. The $25,000 is safe, but the prizes are not. Thanks. You could lose the Crystal China set. You could lose the poker table. Or you could win $50,000. And some more incredible prizes. Check out what we've added to the belt. It's a brand new car. Yes. A living room set, and of course, at the back of $50,000 cash Woo! just for you. Okay. So, do you want to walk away with the 25 grand, the prize that you've already won, or do you want to stay and play? The, it's worth the risk. I'm going to go for the 50 grand. Okay. You're going to need to correctly answer seven of the ten questions. The belt's going to move a little bit faster. So if you're ready, let's choose another category on the way to victory, on the way to 50 grand. Yes. What's left up there? Music in the air. Hard to say goodbye. Famous first, vegetable varieties. Vegetable varieties. Oh, I great. think I'm going to go vegetable varieties. You've been doing great. Thank you. Are you ready to do better? I am. You know a lot about vegetables? I do. I do love have, to cook. Do you have a garden? No, I don't have a garden. Okay. What's your favorite vegetable to cook? Potatoes. Okay. I, my kids love potatoes. <laughs> So I, all kids, all love, kids potatoes. love potatoes. I'm going to say the names of two varieties of a specific vegetable. You tell me the vegetable I'm talking about. If you get seven of the ten correct, you'll win $50,000. You'll win a brand new car. You'll win a living room set. And you will avoid your downfall and stay here and continue to play, hopefully. So are you ready to do this? Yes, I'm ready. Vegetable varieties? Ready. Okay. Start the belt. Romaine and iceberg. Lettuce. Correct. Yukon gold. Potatoes. Correct. Curly and escarole. Uh, fries. Pass. Beef steak and cherry. Potatoes. Correct. Vidalia and Walla Walla Sweet. Correct. Savoy King and Napa. Uh, um, grapes. Oh, pass. Thumbelina and Baby Spike. Uh, beans. Uh, peas. Uh, uh, um, Chocolate Bell and Sweet Banana. Uh, uh, peppers. Correct. Curly and escarole. Um, beans, peas, uh, uh, tomatoes, uh, peppers, pass. Savoy King and Napa. Pass. Uh, Money is gone, Nicole. $50,000 in the new car, but you got $25,000. Great job. She was a tremendous contestant. She left here with $25,000. Curly and escarole, endive. Savoy King and Napa, cabbage. Thumbelina and baby spike are carrots. Bloomsdale, long standing, and melody are types of spinach. Let's meet our next contestant ready to face their downfall. What's your name, my man? Hi, my name's Martin Mullen. Martin Mullen? Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm uh, from South Boston. That's right. South I, nev I never yeah. would have guessed yeah. it. <laughs> Can you actually say the letter R? Uh, Is yeah. it in your genetic makeup? Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. What, are you, what are you doing out here? I'm a LAC firefighter for 10 firefighter. years. Firefighter. Yes, wow. sir. Yeah. 10 years. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have faced danger for your, pretty much your entire career. Yes, sir. Did you ever think? At some point, you'd be on top of a 100-foot skyscraper. This is unbelievable. Looking at the LA skyline with the chance to win $1 million. This is, this is, this is unbelievable, Chris. Okay, so if, if you won $1 million, what would you do? Well, I'm getting married in two months. Oh, so. I'm getting married in two months. <laughs> OK, so you're going to use this money for your wedding? Uh, yes, I am. For your wedding, honeymoon? honeymoon? Yeah, like to take it to Greece and Italy for a honeymoon. And oh. I mean, I never been there. Are you ready to play down for I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's see what hooked up. I gotta tell you, it's very important. 
We can't go anywhere near the edge of this stage before we're hooked up and tethered. That's why we have our lovely girls, Allie and Jackie, who are going to hook you up. Beautiful. It's very important. It's a very dangerous game. Are we all safe? You got it? safe now. Are you ready for downfall? Yes, I Let's am. Let's go back up on here. Come on. Okay, Martin. Round one, you're playing for $5,000, which is a lot of money, and these wonderful prizes, which include a crash <laughs> test dummy. <laughs> no, it's a custom suit made by a personal tailor fitted to your muscular form, <laughs> a year's worth of coffee, beautiful, Take it. and a refrigerator stocked with every kind of beverage you can see. Uh, I, I and most it. important of all, like I said, at the very end of the line, $5,000 cash. It's amazing. Uh -huh. If they go over the edge, so does your chance of taking home these prizes. Got it? I'm ready to play. The last thing is, and this is most important of all, if the money goes over, you go over, <laughs> and the game is done. Boom! Yeah. We don't want to see that. No, we don't. So, Martin, here are the categories for your game. Each category has 10 questions. You have to answer four of them correctly. Let's eat. Who's your daddy? Now departing. Three names. Beauty. Hot tracks. The sexiest men alive. Literature and cartoon characters. You can play these categories in any order that you want to, wow. but I need to know which one do you want to start with first? Let's eat, Chris. Let's eat. Let's eat, baby. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay. For round one, you need to answer four of these questions correctly to stop the bell. Your category is let's eat. In the year 2000, Americans spent over $110 billion on fast food. I'm gonna give you the name of a menu item available at a specific national chain. You tell me the restaurant that sells the item. If you can get four out of 10 correctly, you'll win $5,000 and avoid your downfall. That's right. You think you can do that? I can do it, yes, you I'm sure. doing it. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Whopper Jr. Burger King. Gordita Supreme. Gordita Supreme. Gordita Supreme. I pass. Double down. Uh, in and out burger. Pass. Baconator. Bacon, bacon. Pass. Italian BMT. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Pass. <laughs> Frappuccino. Dairy Queen! Stop the bell! He got it! Yes! Whoa! That's tough! <laughs> Congratulations, Martin. You've won $5,000. And the refrigerator stuck with beer, which I could use one right now. Let's go to the answers that you did not get correctly. That's great. Gordita Supreme, Taco Bell. It's a gordita. It's Spanish. Double down, Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> Baconator, Wendy's, Italian BMT. Now, Martin, it's Subway, but you said KFC. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what the K in KFC stands for? <laughs> yes, Kentucky. I do. Kentucky. I know. There's nothing Italian in Kentucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, everyone. Italian BMT is Subway, but don't be sorry because you still have the refrigerator, and like I said, five thousand dollars cash. It's not a bad stuff. We're going to take a breather and be right back with more Downfall after this. Stay there! <laughs> Welcome back to Downfall. Before the break, Martin won $5,000 and the refrigerator stocked with beer, which I could use one right now. Back up the belt. We're gonna restock this belt with new prizes, but you have a decision to make right now. Yes, sir. Okay? You can take this $5,000, go back to Boston, go back to your fiance. <laughs> you can walk away with that right now, or you can stay and play. But I gotta warn you, the game gets tougher the higher you move up the money ladder. And more importantly, the belt will get faster. If you go for it and lose, it's all gone. Okay? Let me see the deal that we've had the karaoke machine. <laughs> you can sing. 
Who's your favorite band? Backstreet Boys? Yeah, the Backstreet Boys. Why not? Bad, no, that's okay. <laughs> then we got a barbecue oh, grill. I love that. That goes well with the I beer. Need a, I need a grill. You need a grill? I, need, I do need a grill. Yes, oh. I do. And you're also going to have a home video camera kit. Oh, perfect. Which would come in handy on your honeymoon. Absolutely. Possibly. I, all, if it's a good honeymoon. We all need a camera. Get your mind out of the gutter. What I'm are you sorry, thinking about? I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, most important of all, the money at the back of the conveyor belt, $10,000 in cash. So, are you going to stay or are you going to walk away? Stay. I'm playing. He's going to stay. Yes. Let's play downfall. In the second round, you need to correctly answer five out of the ten questions. Okay. So, if you're ready to choose your category. Yes, I am. Let's get to it. Okay, let's okay. do it. Who's your daddy? Now departing. Three names. Beauty, hot tracks, the sexiest men alive, <laughs> literature, or cartoon characters. Take your time and think and choose your category. What do you think? What do you think? But they don't know the answers. What do you want? Cartoon characters, Chris. Cartoon characters. Yes, sir. I'm going to give you a clue about an animated character, location, or show. If you can answer five of the ten questions correctly, you'll win $10,000 and avoid your downfall. Are you ready, Martin? Yes, sir. Are you sure? I'm ready, Chris. Yes, I Are am. you ready? Are you ready? Start the belt! His catchphrase is, what's up, Doc? Bugs Bunny. Correct. Show with baby, Tommy Pickles and Pals. Pass. Fictional national park that is home to Yogi Bear. Jellystone Park. Correct. Native American princess kidnapped in Disney's Peter Pan. Show featuring Azrael and Jokey. Pass. Space Ranger voiced by Tim Allen in Toy Story. <sighs> come on, Martin. Oh, pass. The town where the Flintstones lived. Ah, oh, come on. Drop the belt. Crap. OK, Martin. That was a very smart move. You forfeit all the prizes left on the belt. Well, let's check out the answers that you missed. Did you not have a childhood? <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Show with baby Tommy Pickles and pals. Rugrats. Native American princess kidnapped in Disney's Peter Pan. Tiger Lily. Show featuring Azrael and Jokey. It's the uh, Smurfs. Two... Oh, OK. The Smurfs, the little blue guys. And two people. I don't even know what's saying it. They never had Smurfs in Boston, apparently. <laughs> Space Ranger oh, voiced by Tim Allen in Toy Story. Come on, man. I know, I know, I know. Buzz Lightyear. I'm nervous. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of suspense. Yeah. So let's give Martin a hand. He's still yeah. in the game. He's still in the game. OK? I'm moving the belt back. The panic button gets you a redo. But it's going to cost you. So you can put a personal possession on the belt, or it could be your supporter. So you got some time. When we come back, we'll find out what Martin wants to do as we move up the money ladder right here on Downfall. <laughs> Welcome back to Downfall. Before the break, Martin, the fireman from Boston, about to get married. <laughs> you hit the panic button. <laughs> the panic button gets you a redo. Yeah. So you can put a personal possession on the belt, or it could be your supporter. So what do you want to put on the belt? My golf clubs. O-M-G. <laughs> Are you a good golfer? Not now, not lately. Terrible. Not lately. <laughs> Slicing well, the ball. OK. How much do these golf clubs mean to you? They mean a lot, but I can use some help. <laughs> All right, Jamie, Ali, let's take the clubs, put them on the conveyor belt. Now, if you're able to answer the questions correctly before the golf clubs go over, you get to keep them and the $10,000. Okay. If not, it's going to be a double bogey. <laughs> Here's the categories you've got left. Who's your daddy? Now departing. Three names, beauty, hot tracks, the sexiest man alive, or literature? What do you think? Sexiest man alive, Chris. <laughs> 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 I 
Sexiest man alive, Chris. You know something about sexy man? Uh, my fiance, all she does is read that People magazine and it happens to be laying around everywhere, so I was like, I hope I can do that. Okay, that's not, that's not a bad way to say it. Okay. <laughs> You know about sexy men too? We're gonna find out. He was out. telling you to say sexiest man alive. <laughs> Do you guys read the People magazine together? Well, you might have a chance, I hope. Are you on the back of the fire hey, truck, if, sitting on the ladder? If not, I'm gonna be on that. So I'm hoping that's, that's all right. a good point. <laughs> Don't forget, Martin, you have one panic left. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna tell you the name of one of the characters a sexy man alive winner has played in the movies. If you can name five of the ten actors, you'll win the ten thousand dollars, and you'll avoid your downfall. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Are you ready to get sexy? Come on, I'm sexy. Start the sexy belt. Captain Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp. Correct. Wolverine. Uh, I know him. I know him. What's his name? God, he's been in a couple times. Uh, pass. Jason Bourne. Matt Damon. Correct. Captain Billy Tyne. Uh, George Clooney. President James Marshall. Pass. Benjamin Button. Uh, Brad Pitt. Correct. Coach Herman Boone. Uh, I'll pass. Thomas Crown. Pierce Brosnan. Kurt, stop the belt. <laughs> yes! You got it! Give me some love! <laughs> <laughs> Give him a standing O! Look at that! <laughs> wow! Good job, you. <laughs> sexiest oh, man. The huh? sexiest <laughs> man alive saved your golf clubs. <laughs> You will never be able oh, to go back to Boston and play never, golf again, but that doesn't matter. Let's go see what you missed in the sexy believe, man category. Of all categories. Holy crap. Wolverine. You jacked me. You got it. Uh, President James Marshall. Harrison Ford. Oh. Yes. Coach Herman Boone. Denzel Washington. Okay. Oh, well. That doesn't matter. You saved your golf clubs, and you got the $10,000. Okay, back up the belt. I'm gonna change the prizes, but first it's decision time again. You can walk away with the $10,000, or you can stay and play some more. Instead of $10,000, you'll have $25,000, which stays in your pocket no matter what. No matter what. So are you gonna stay and play some more, or are you gonna walk away back to your fiance, back to Boston, <laughs> and back to the firefighters who will be laughing at your sexy man knowledge? <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you think? Stay. Ask the audience. I'm going to stay. He's going to stay. Wow. All right. <laughs> it is round three, and you're playing for $25,000 in cash. OK? All right. But there's so much more. On the conveyor belt right now, we have a honeymoon cruise to Italy <laughs> and the Greek islands. She'll which is it. symbolized She'll by this hey. lovely giant wedding cake. She'll love it. Happy. Awesome. We also have an MP3 jukebox. Awesome. And this thing at the end is an outdoor theater system with the giant theater screen. Do you want the $25,000? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because remember, remember, Martin, no matter what happens, if you win that money, it stays with you for the rest of the game. To get this cruise, to keep this cake on this rooftop with us tonight, you have to get six out of the ten questions answered correctly. All right, we can do it. Here's the categories left. Who's your daddy now departing? Three names, beauty, hot tracks, literature. Who's your daddy, Chris? Who's your daddy is what he's going to take. <laughs> I'm going to give you names of some celebrity offspring, Martin. Mm -hmm. You tell me who their famous daddy is. Yes, if you get six of the ten correct, you'll win $25,000 cash. Yeah, you, you keep that money no matter what happens. You avoid your downfall. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, Are you sir, sure? Yes, sir. Okay, you ready to cheer him on? Yeah. Mr. Martin, start the belt. Knox and Shiloh. Uh, Brad, Brad Pitt. Greg, Scout Rumor and Tallulah. Uh, what's her name there? That's, um, that's, um, Demi Moore. Demi Moore, Bruce Pacific. Willis. Pacific. Correct. Levi and Vita. Romeo Cruz in Brooklyn. That's uh, that's the soccer player there. Beckham, David Beckham. Malaya and Sasha. That's the president. Obama. Correct. Apple and Moses. Pass. Ivanka and Barron. Donald Trump. Correct. Charlie Axel and Sam Alexis. Uh, pass. Kingston and Zuma. Kingston and Zuma. That's uh, that's uh, what's his name? Uh, the Bush guy. Um. 
He's a singer from Bush. Oh, wow. Wow. Martin. I had it. You had it, my man. You had five out of the ten correct. You hit the panic button. Let's see what you missed. Okay. Levi and Vita, Matthew McConaughey. Oh. Apple and Moses. Couldn't tell you. I don't Chris know. Martin, Charlie Axel and Sam Alexis, Axel Tiger Woods. Woods. Yeah. Hello. He's got kids. <laughs> uh, who's the one I missed? Kingston and Zuma. Yeah, Gavin Rossdale. God, that's so close. You came so close, but you were smart enough to hit the panic button. Oh. So that means friend Eric <laughs> is going on the belt. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Why is that funny? Because he's funny. Martin, we have to stop right there. We're out of time. We got 25 grand at stake. We got Martin right here. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. I'm Chris Jericho. Good night. All right, thank you. Games series premiere right now.